Hello and a very warm welcome back to episode 10 of Elm Creek with me, Wasteland Gaming. Everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Elm Creek. Uh, yes, it's been a little while since I've been on any of my uh, farming simulator let's plays. Actually, um, I've been pretty busy of late trying to just get uh, life and work done. But um, we're back on Elm Creek, and as you saw from the intro, I did a little bit of uh, work off screen, so we managed to get that field uh, ploughed, uh, mulched. Sorry, mulched and ploughed. Um, so that has now been um, has been processed, and yeah, we're now still on the same game day as last episode. But what we do have now is obviously that field's uh, been turned around. So I need to get a cultivator on that as well, um, and then yeah, I think this episode we are going to purchase cultivator and. I've decided we're going to buy the piece of land that we were talking about last episode. So the field, or the original starting farm, which is this one here. So we're going to get that uh, purchased. Obviously it's $156,264. I haven't got that money just now, um, especially once I buy a cultivator. So I will take a bit out a bit of a loan, um, and that's going to give us the money to buy some more sheep and sheep pastures as well so yeah we're gonna do some purchasing today so i'm gonna sell all our silage bales as well we've got plenty of silage bales on tap so we've got 24 here so we'll get rid of these uh, get these into the biogas plant hopefully we'll make a good bit of cash here and then that should hopefully give us the money there we go 27 so we'll get that uh, put away. I'll go and get the other silage bales and we'll get them uh, sold. But before we do that, I'm just going to nip over and show you something at the stores. So last episode, you might have remembered, we bought ourselves this uh, Dondreville uh, low loader. And yeah, it's a fa fantastic trailer. Fits onto our um, TLX Phoenix as well, which is even better. But as soon as I did that, uh, another one came up in the stores. <laughs> so I think it's 60% off that. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to sell that, uh, the original one, and buy this one. And then within the cultivators this episode, um, uh, in fact, I'm going to get a disc harrow. I think we're going to get ourselves this, the case. IH Agriculture Speed Tiller 465, but you can get this in a Powerflex version as well, so we're probably going to go for that one. Um, so I'll probably purchase that. So I think what I'm going to do is we'll go and get the rest of the silage bales, we'll go and get them loaded up, and then yeah, we'll sell them. That'll give us the funding to get the, the um, 
power flex disc arrow uh, and then we can get that set up um, doing the soybean field and then um, yeah we will go uh, about purchasing this piece of land I think yeah sounds like a plan so I'll go and do those bits and bobs off screen we're going to sell the rest of the silage bales our money will have gone up again by the time we uh, oh, gone the wrong way by the time we come back round to you and yeah what I might do as well is yeah we'll um, yeah we'll get the get ourselves over to the soybean field field 35 and yeah we'll go and get a worker started on that and then we can yeah concentrate on our potentially new plot uh, and yeah get that set up for sheep so we'll see you in a little bit uh, and yeah we'll make a start on that field there we go then we sold the the rest of the silage for about sixteen thousand dollars so our money went up then i went and bought that uh second hand dodgerville low loader trailer and what i've brought is i've brought down the other john deere so we've attached the 7r to the the little auger auger bin and what i'm going to do is i'm going to send that up to uh, up to a uh, sorry field 68 it is yeah 68 because I've accepted a contract over there I'm not going to do it today because I've had my three contract limit for today um, but we will send that over to 68 and yeah we're going to get $13,227 for the contract and whatever's left of the soybeans after that and I'll just put them into this bin. So what I need to do is send this and that up to there. So if I go onto there and yeah, 68. So yeah, we'll send it about there somewhere. Should do the job. There we go. And then we can get this going. So as you can see, we've got the power flex on the back pretty good um, so not a bad working width this actually uh, how big are we actually let's have a quick look um, where are we oh there is disc arrows yeah so yeah we're sitting at a 9.5 working 9.5 meter working width which is fantastic so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get, um, I'll just do an, this end first, just because of the lump in the in the headland there, and let's get it in place. Okay, drop that down. So as I said, I got this mulched and I got this um, harrowed, uh, mulched and ploughed. So all that remains to do for it now is harrowing, but um, yeah, and I can't plant anything in it just yet because yeah, we need to wait for our um, our planting window. So the great thing is, uh, next month we have precision farming coming out, uh, which I absolutely loved using and wouldn't go back to it uh, uh, would not uh, would not do farming simulator without it to be honest I, I really enjoyed using it so yeah when it comes out all my let's plays will be transferring over to precision farming uh, looks like there's some excellent refinement to it has happened so um, yeah it looks like yeah the fertilization um, and yeah soil maps have had a tinkering with and things like that and um, so you can now purchase a whole whole map with all the soil data you need rather than going and doing all the sampling which would be quite quite a handy thing i suppose and although i didn't mind doing the sampling it wasn't wasn't too much of an issue and yeah there's more information coming out soon um so yeah it'll be interesting to see what what happens with that but 
yeah, can't wait to, to get precision farming working again. That'll be uh, fantastic. Um, just add a, a, a whole new, more bigger element of realism to it all. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the biggest news. But um, yeah, the new new smaller vehicles will be out soon, no doubt as well. Actually, um, uh, so yeah, we'll see them all before long. And then yeah, there's there's quite a few new maps come out recently as well. So um, a firm favourite of mine is Greenlands. I think Peter Seven One Six's maps are amazing, um, and yeah, he's done a, a really great conversion of Greenlands over to to the new game, and yeah, quite like the look of that. Um, the the other one that's caught my eye is the Umbreon Valley as well. Um, although it's a predominantly forestry map, I think the way the map's been done is absolutely amazing. There's tons of detail in there. Um, and yeah, just when you go on it, it just has a really nice feel, you know. Um, the landscape's amazing and yeah, it just, I don't know, it's one of those maps that's actually, yeah, caught my eye as well. So yeah, just yeah, there's a lot of good stuff coming out at the moment. I just really don't have the time to, to dedicate to it all. But, yeah, I think, yeah, if we can get this series a little bit deeper, um, I do have an idea for a, a challenge as well, um, a farming simulator challenge. Uh, and, yeah, I might get that underway in the next couple of weeks, um, if I can find the time to get it going but uh, yeah lots of stuff going on lots of good stuff going on so I think yeah we'll get this field finished once this is finished at the moment it's just got small stones in it which is fine because with the field roller I'll be able to roll them back in eventually uh, once we get the, the crop in the ground this field I'm going to put um, cotton into it I think. I think we'll put cotton into it because uh, that's that is pretty much the next product or next crop I can plant anyway in the planting windows so it makes sense to put it in and then I think yeah we'll need to have a look over the winter of purchasing another field as well uh, it'd be good to get another large field purchased but what I'm going to do is just wait for the, the fabric and clothing to start taking effect before I do that because um, yeah, I'm s I've definitely run out of money now um, I am going to take out a loan uh, to buy this next bit of land um, the farm the starting farm but yeah, I don't intend to take out a stupidly large loan because yeah I've got yeah I just want to basically keep it in check and just do my best not to not to sort of just work with the loans right that is it pretty much done what we can do now is I can take this back across to our farm there we go And then what we'll do is, yeah, we'll go and, yeah, buy this plot and do some tinkering with it. We'll do a little bit of landscaping uh, to get it how we want it with our animal pastures. And if I have to increase my money a little bit through the loan, then we'll, then so be it. Right. We'll see you over at the new plot and we'll go and purchase it. Right, we are just coming over to the, the plot then. Um, I've brought the TLX Phoenix across purely because uh, I've took the dumper back out of it and I'm going to buy an animal back for it because if I'm going to be transporting animals this is going to be a lot quicker and I can fit 20 sheep on the, the back for uh, transporting animals with this uh, this TLX Phoenix. So if I got the pop pop trailer on the back as well that would be another 20 so I could transport to 40 animals which would be fairly good 
Um, so I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to park it in the garage here, uh, just so it doesn't interfere with our um, interfere with any landscaping. And yeah, we're going to have to take out a big loan, I think. So yeah, this is the plot we're going to buy. It's the starting farm. It comes with a few fields, but. I think the bit I'm interested in is this one here. So once we have harvested the cotton, then yeah, we can then go about getting some uh, pastures on there. I'm probably going to sell that as well. And yeah, this field here is a soybean field, so we can harvest that one as well. And this one has, has been already used up. So yeah, we've got. Uh, a few bits and bobs. If I get rid of these, unfortunately, it leaves big holes in the ground, so I might leave them in situ. And we do need barn space anyway, because yeah, we're probably going to be leaving some bales down here. Um, so, ooh, so yeah, we'll do that. Um, so let's get in there. Let's uh, purchase what we need. Incidentally, I have brought um, the harvesting equipment down to field 68. Um, for um, for the harvesting contract, which I will start tomorrow, game day, and I accidentally uh, booked in a <laughs> a cultivating contract for six three hundred seventy six dollars, <laughs> but not to worry. And there's uh, a fertilizing contract for eight thousand four hundred eight, so I'll get those done probably off screen um, the next game day. Um, so we'll get those done right. Let's uh, let's purchase this bit of land then. There we go. So up to here. Now then, it is going to cost us one hundred fifty-six thousand two hundred sixty-four. So I think I'm going to take out a two hundred fifty thousand dollar loan just now. And yeah, we'll see how much it costs us in the end. Um, so let's go down to money and borrow. Here we go, 250,000. And then we'll go up to here and we're going to buy this. Okay, so buy that. Perfect. And that leaves us 178,000 in the bank still, which gives us plenty for doing our landscaping when we get to it. Um, like I said, I think, yeah, what we'll do, we'll get rid of this here. We'll sell that. And that'll give us a wee patch there. And then, yeah, I think what we'll do, we'll leave those things. What I'm going to do is just have a play about with the landscaping tool. So let's jump on here. Um, we need to get animals, uh, sheep. And yeah, this will hold 65 animals. So let's have a look. Is it going to massively affect us? Actually, that's not too bad, is it? So. Ooh. Let's have a look. So I think what we'll do, I'm going to set up a bit of a time lapse here. We will get. Yeah, get some sheep pastures in. Um, I'm probably going to get, well, 65, 120, 130. Yeah, could I get... Yeah, I'm going to run out of money, aren't I, pretty quick. I might take out another loan as well. We'll see. Um, I definitely, yeah, look into, yeah. Get as many sheep in here as possible. So, yeah. We'll put some music on, I'll get some of this done, and yeah, we'll see you shortly. Right.
Okay, folks, we have three pastures in so far. As you can see, yeah, I've spent a fair bit of money getting this set up, but um, yeah, I think, yeah, that's, well, what's that? 60, 120, 180, 195 more sheep we can have in here. Um, so in total, that is going to bring us nicely up. Um, obviously in here, yeah, we're not at full capacity yet. Um, but yeah, I can get another 65 in there and another 25 in there. So yeah, we're definitely, yeah, getting towards it. My ambition, I think, will be to get another, another sheep pasture in here. And yeah, we might put some, yeah, um, just grass pastures for them in this field uh, for lambing and stuff like that. So yeah, quite... I think we're pretty much yeah getting there with the capacity. I've obviously put a little bit of decoration in, so we put a fence in, some trees, um, and that's yeah, and obviously gravelled all this out as well. So yeah, we're looking looking pretty good. I think what I'll do, I think we'll we'll finish the episode maybe here. I think I was going to get more sheep. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In fact. How much is it going to cost us? Let's go and check. So I can get sheep in just around here. There we go. So, yeah, it's going to cost us. So if I put half the capacity in here. 11,855. Yeah, it's going to eat up all our money. Yeah, so I think what we'll do next episode, we'll start the episode getting the sheep in. Um, I will just now go and get this, uh, this trailer back first. So we're ready for that. Make it. Nope. There we go. There we go, so we'll just nip along to the stores here, we'll put this trailer back, and then, yeah, next episode, I think, yeah, we'll get those crops harvested, we'll get some sheep in there, oh, and, um, yeah, we'll hopefully, yeah, be passing into the winter, and we can, uh, yeah, start selling some crops as well, in this way, there we go. Right, so just turn that off. So what I'm looking for is the if we go into miscellaneous, all the backs for the rigid are in here. So this is it, the auto load or uh, animal transport trailer. And as you can see, it takes 20 pigs, 8 cows and 20 sheep. So let's get this on the go. So bale auto load livestock trailer. I'm going to go with decals just in case we get confused. Uh, <laughs> easily done with me. And yeah, we'll get it in dark mood um, to match the frame. So buy that. Okay. Nothing else in the deals just now. So that's fine. Right. That's that. And then this should go nicely on the back here. There we go, perfect. So that is our animal transport ready to go. Like I said, we'll get this done next episode, I think. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed the episode, don't forget to hit that like button. If you want to subscribe to the channel, please do. And if you want to share a comment, you're more than welcome to. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But in the meantime from Elm Creek, I hope you have enjoyed it and we will see you next time for some more farming fun. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.